um, you guys are really, you, this is not the Garth Brooks concert. You're in the wrong place. This is where I make up all the rap lyrics that go along. You guys give me things to rap about and I rap about them. I cannot rap about anything anyone else has ever rapped about. I cannot rap about anything I've ever rapped about. And I cannot rap about anything that's going to get me arrested. Because that would be boring, that would be cheating, and I'm on a pussy. So, cool. Um, you're going to raise your hands uh, and you're going to give me topics. First and foremost, though, if you're thinking of an item of food right now, uh, put your hand down. If you're thinking of Doctor Who, put your hand down. If you're thinking of any dinosaur, cartoon, or video game, put your hand down. Great, we're still here. What do you got, sir? I got Jenna's jacket. Jenna's jacket? Does Jenna know you have your jacket? Jenna, he jacked your jacket. <laughs> Jenna's jacket. What do you got there, sir? John Glenn's legacy. John Glenn's legacy is a very J-heavy freestyle session so far. What do you got? John Cena. John Cena. This is cool. What's that? Aww. Part of me just wants to be like, it didn't start with J. But then you gotta be like, family. Right. Cool, family, yeah. Who's gonna say no to family? What do you got? MySpace. MySpace, yeah, yeah. Shout out to people that have been listening to me since fucking MySpace. Every once in a while, you still go check on your MySpace, just keeping a tab on your top eight and shit, just making sure they're still tight as fuck in case you fucking die in a car crash and they check that shit and post it on your fucking eulogy, or am I the only one? Jenna's jacket, John Glenn's legacy. Oh, oh, John, Cena. John, Cena. John Cena, family, MySpace days in the last one. Dungeons and Dragons. I've rapped about Dungeons and Dragons, man. Look at my, look at me, man. I have multiple D20s in my apartment. I'm a grown ass man with multiple D20s in my apartment. I've already rapped about Dungeons and Dragons. It's, it's all good. Alright, La good? We're good? Wait, what do you got? Desk lamps. Desk lamps? Yeah. Now, are we talking like the real fancy, like, balancey ones that you get at like uh, 80s, like, uh, cokehead fucking stockbroker stores? Or the ones that just clamp on the side of your dorm room table? Which ones are we talking about here? Uh, I have the clamps. Of course you do, you got the clamps. Look at your fucking hair, man. You ain't fucking. You ain't putting on no Canali suit with your fucking two balls that go back and forth sitting at a desk being like, what's it gonna take to close this deal? I'm not disrespecting, but let's be real, you got the clam. I ain't got that fucking two balls in that fucking lamp. <laughs> so Jenna's standing there waiting for me to rap, and in fact, is what happened is this guy fucking jacked her jacket, and he stood there and fucking held it up for this captain, and he was like, oh shit, you gotta start rapping, and she was like, give it back, you fucking ass, I need that fucking jacket, because it's raining out here, and it's like 65, and that's fucking freezing for our asses. <laughs> Cause Jenna's denim keeps her warm in the winter months dog when it's fucking 68 and then rain just starts to fall because it's the rainy season, believe it, and Jenna just needs her jacket cause it's the condom that protects her from the rain's falling action and Jenna's made out of sugar when some of the rain starts to happen, she just melts like a fucking peep in a microwave, Captain. But me, I'm from Minnesota now. I got them cold bones in my style. I'll be like the John Cena muscled up when that snow starts to fall down. Y'all ain't seen snow in a minute. Gee, that's all bottom line. I understand it quick. And I've been in here like it's heavenly. It's like fucking 76. I stepped off the fucking plane because before we came here to play, we were in fucking Anchorage, Alaska, and it was negative degrees, babe. And I had a fucking parka on and layers for fucking days. And I got in fucking Hawaii and they dumped me and covered me in lays. And I was like, this fucking amaze. I'm gonna cut off everything. I fucking took a a suture and a scalpel and just slid it down the middle, babe, on some breakaway pants, Adidas B-boy type of shit. Jenna's jacket was on my back and I ripped it off quick. I was like, I don't need no fucking jacket. It's fucking warm as shit. And I'm standing here like feeling like John Glenn up in this bitch, playing a flag up in that shit, being like, yeah, it's warm as shit because I'm fucking from Minnesota and it's up there freezing, bitch. And so I'm John Glenn stepping off of Apollo fucking 11 with an American flag and an erection. <laughs> Being like, I claim this for my ass. And everyone's like, we've been here for like a thousand million, hundred bajillion, trillion fucking seconds. And I'm like, shit. Okay, I get it. And after that little bit of embarrassment and fucking machismo expression, everyone eventually embraced me like it was family with connections. And I'm standing here sitting in every fucking bar that I came and stepped in. Up in fucking Ethel's eating a fucking mess up, no question. I got that fucking sashimi plate. Ate fucking as many of them things, babe, and got taika rice and all that shit and shoved it in my face. And everywhere that I fucking ate, it felt like your grandmother cooked for me. And your grandmother's a good fucking cook, and I tipped her well, G. God damn it, it blew my fucking mind. I have not had a bad meal the whole time. Even that one fucking place where we were like, let's just get a burger and die because we're fucking hungry as fuck and we've been stuck on this damn drive and we can't find a place to eat because that awkward place is not open right 
right. I've been having the best fucking time. Can I be real? I'm gonna be real in every fucking line. So I had not been to Alaska, and I had not been to Hawaii, right? And granted, Alaska's at a disadvantage precise because it's fucking December and it's not exactly their tight time. But I was putting all my fucking money on Alaska at the roulette wheel like it was gonna kill everything in that's for real. And I was gonna be like, yeah, Hawaii, okay, I see you, dog. And you fucking stole my fucking heart. I love it here, man. It fucked up my whole plans. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to Hawaii, high five and get a tan. I'm gonna be out this fucking dam and I'll be like, good checkbox, man. And I'll be like, shit, now I gotta see every fucking island up in this land. It's fucking my whole brain up in every fucking plan. Cause I was like, after this, I'll be going to somewhere in Southeast Asia, man. Cause it's fucking expensive to get there, but it's cheap once you fucking land. But this place is a little bit more expensive, but I don't give a fucking damn. Cause this is my fucking country, man. And I want to fucking know it back to front, front to back. Cause I learned all of it, son. I've been to every fucking state now. Five, zero. Did you know we had this many fucking states? That's a lot of fucking people. I didn't think this would fucking happen for me, but I believe it. The bottom line is I'm looking back at everything that I've done and achieved, and man, the fucking amazing thing to me is that I couldn't even fucking believe that the fuck fact of the matter is I came to 50 states this evening because of fucking rappers fitting saying every people. And every time I stand up on stage saying in front of these people, I fucking get to come back here, and this is not, man, I can't fucking believe it. So hold on one second. Let's just pause and breathe in. Because there was John Glenn's legacy, and I fucking already touched that this evening. And I hit upon Jenna's jacket. Well, I fucking rapped on that real quick. Easy. Oh, yeah, MySpace is the other one. I'm sorry for fucking forgetting. So I got a metal plate in my head. And I went to school in Florida shit, and so you give me a lot of topics, I might forget some of them. <laughs> and I've done a drugs or once or twice, and so sometimes I forget on mics, and so I forgot to fucking MySpace, but I'll probably bring it back right. Y'all forgot about fucking MySpace, and that's the truth of fact. Probably half of y'all too fucking young to even know what the fuck that's at. <laughs> You're like, MySpace? My parents used that. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Dagger to the back. <laughs> Twist it in the fucking half. Oh, and I'm like, you don't know about no top eight. And in fact, I'd be like, top eight? What the fuck is that? Ah, oh, that used to be your everything. And when you could change that, when you could handle up the HTML and make it all rearranged fast, you could put your own fucking themes in, it would be dope as fucking crap. I made my shit all minimal like I was living in Norway, cat. I was fucking super fucking architectural digest type of raps when I'm fucking minimal lines and designs and playing white backs. Whatever, want to sit in there on some kawaii type of crap with fucking emojis and fucking floating gifts and all explosion and fast. It would give you fucking a seizure every time you fucking loaded that. You'd be on your fucking 486 Pentium just trying to load it fast and your fucking dial-up modem being like, oh my shit, my whole collapse. AT&T was like, no, we can't load that. You're going to be banned for fucking ever because you see your bandwidth cap because the fucking bottom line is that girl that you wanted a Mac was got too many fucking gifts on her fucking MySpace page cat. And so every time you try to click into the fucking math, realize that you're shutting down her whole system for the way she acts. <laughs> oh, fuck. With all of that being said, I'm taking you back to Jenna's jack hat. <laughs> Fuck that, we're not gonna be talking about that. The truth is this, I've been rapping since way back, and since MySpace started to connect me to the whole internet, in fact, there have been people that have been here, that have been given in by my raps, and I never thought that I would come to this fucking state and get to play these tracks, and the fact that it fucking happened just blows my fucking hair back, and so when I'm an old man and my grandson sitting on my knees and I'm laid back with a fucking pipe in my hand and a fucking whiskey knee cat, and he'd be like, Grandpa, Grandma told me you used to rap. And I'll be like, yeah, I did that. 